delicious. I like the fact, too, you can just get a slice if you want. You don't have to get the whole cake. Well, speaking of wonderful cakes, we're in the kitchen with pastry chef Lindsay Brooks, who owns her own business, catering and does cakes for any occasion. Runaway Spoon, great to see Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lindsay's going to make two different um, cakes for us. Lindsay makes a lot of the desserts at some of the wonderful restaurants that we have in the area, some of the country clubs and things like that. And now you're, you'll, you'll do it for just people who... Absolutely. Catering cakes, you name it, we'll do it. So... She does some really delicious ones. But I made her use a box cake mix for this recipe because, you know, <laughs> a lot of us are busy people. And um, for this first recipe, the second one we're going to do from, from scratch, scratch. But um, we're going to do a pineapple upside down cake. Yeah. Um, which is, boy, that brings back memories, you know? Oh, and it's beautiful, as you can see in front of you. And the juice just kind of runs off and the whole house smells wonderful. Yeah, it's so. kind of like that 50s, 60s, you know, yep. 70s. I totally grew up with that. Uh, but this recipe... Like I was talking earlier, um, kind of takes it to the next level. Uh, yeah. You, know? you said maybe something from a box. I said, I don't know if I can do that. So I thought, okay, let's look at the back and let's see what I can add to it to make it my own. So uh, hopefully the recipe makes sense. Instead of adding butter you're gonna, or adding um, oil to it, you're going to add melted butter. Okay. And then normally you add water to your cake mix. We're going to add buttermilk to the cake mix. To make it really moist. Really, really moist. So, so one so. yellow cake mix. Yep. All right. Three eggs. Three eggs. The butter and the buttermilk, which is all over there. All right, I'll get to work on that. And uh, the other side of it is going to be that beautiful glazed pineapple on the bottom of it. So you're going to start out with just a couple of tablespoons of melted butter. And you're just going to pour it into the bottom of your pan. And then this makes a nice big nine by thirteen. Nine by thirteen. And you don't have to spray the pan at all. Just go ahead and put the butter down, and then sprinkle on about a cup's worth of brown sugar. And again, you can use canned pineapple, but for me, I like to use fresh ingredients. So we're going to go ahead and use a fresh pineapple. That's a great idea. That's a, the, you know, kind of the updated spin on it. Of course, when I was growing up, I don't even know if we could get fresh pineapple. You know? I had to go to Hawaii. So, you know, we grew up with the can, but it looks, the presentation on it's so pretty. And you get such fresh. a fresh yeah. flavor coming yeah, out of it. exactly. Um, and you don't need a whole pineapple, just a half of a pineapple. Okay. So if... Um, you have the leftover pineapple, you could kind of make a little chutney or sauce to sure, go on top of it. Sure, or just eat it cake. fresh, too. And all you're going to do is just make a nice flat surface. So I've cut off the top and the bottom, and I'm okay. just going around the outside of the... Uh, People, core. I think, are so scared of dealing with fresh pineapple. Well, first of all, too, in the grocery store, they now have them, the full pineapple... Uh, peeled, I guess you should say, in canisters. Yeah. So if you wanted to cheat that way, and just slice it up yourself or buy it the fresh. But it's not that hard to do at all. You no, know? you can just see I'm just going around just slicing straight down. I got a nice flat surface. Throw away these little guys. Okay. You do have to take quite a bit of rind off to be able to get what they call sure. those eyes off sure. of there. Sure, okay. And then go ahead and just slice it about a fourth of an inch or so. It's going to be just a little bit thinner than maybe you have in a can because it is fresh. Okay. Smells so good. And let's see if we can get one more slice up here. And then you still have that core in the center, and that core is going to still not break down even though you're going to bake with it. Oh, okay. So you don't need to worry about removing that? Actually, we are going to oh, remove okay. it. Okay. Okay. Just with a little bit of a paring knife, but it doesn't okay. have to be exact. Okay. And you can cut out a square or a circle. Oh, that's a good smell on pineapple. Wow. They're really good at the grocery store right now. And they've come down in price, too. Yeah, I think two fifty or three, mm -hmm. and you can, sometimes you can even fiber, find organic. How you doing, Amy? I'm good. She's making me do this by hand. I'm like, can I not use the mixture? Uh, no. mixer? <laughs> All right, but you could certainly use the mixer at home, Yes, right? you can. One thing about doing it by hand, you have better control over it. You're really going to... Um, learn a little bit more about the batter and, and getting all the lumps out yeah, of there. I'm learning all about it. <laughs> I'm learning that I need to work out more because my arm is sore. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so a couple minutes on uh, a hand blender or even the KitchenAid, we could have put it in there. All right. So once we get the pineapple trimmed up here, you're going to lay them into the bottom of your pan. Okay. And the recipe is going to tell you to do 12 slices, just however many it takes to coat the bottom of your 9 to by 13 fit in there. pan. Okay. And then I jazz this one up as well by using a little bit of rum. Ooh, I like right. that Can't idea. Can't go wrong with that. So how do you, what do you do with that rum? We're gonna sprinkle it right over the top here Ooh. and it's gonna bake down into that caramel sauce. Ooh. And then you could just go ahead and put maraschino cherries. That's a classic. You yep. can't really substitute anything for that. No. 
I like the idea of using a couple sometimes in yep, there too. Yeah, the bigger holes, yeah, absolutely. Uh -huh. All right. And then what I did too is just wherever I had leftover pineapple and maybe a larger hole. Don't don't waste it. Just stick it right in there. Good idea. Go ahead and cover it up. The more juice you get in here, the better mm -hmm. it will be. Looks good there. Okay. And then, like I said, you're going to take just a little bit of the rum. And you could leave this out. You don't have to do this step. You know, a lot of people oh, don't yeah, like to cook yeah, with alcohol, yeah. things like that. Or they actually have um, a rum extract yeah. out there that you could add maybe a teaspoon sure, or so to Sure, sure. So just a couple tablespoons splashed across the top. Okay. And then I also add just a pinch of some fresh vanilla oh, extract that's a good in here. Lots of flavor. Yeah. So Here's again, my hand mix cake batter. Looks perfect, Amy. And that was key. We substituted the um, the oil. We did butter and buttermilk. Yep, so the batter's going to be a little bit thicker than what you're used to, but it's going to bake up really nice, rich, and moist. Okay. This goes into, Lindsay, a preheated what temperature? 350. Oven? Okay, and, and about how long? About 45 minutes or so. The toothpick test will, will be able to tell you. Okay, now done. how do you get it out of there? That's my, you know, that would make me nervous because yep. we've got it here on a big platter. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And I like pineapple upside down cake a little warm. I don't know about you. Well, then but. that's just perfect, right? So you take it out of the oven, let it sit for about 10 minutes, and it'll pull away from the sides, dump it out onto your serving platter, and the sauce will kind of pull down to the side. Keep your fingers plate. crossed, and, <laughs> but it comes out no problem. Comes really out no easy. Problem. Yep. All right. All right. We'll finish this one up and get it into the oven, and Lindsay's going to stick around and do a homemade devil food layer cake with homemade mm. chocolate frosting. Yum. And coming up, why not combine cake and flowers together? We're going to show you the cutest